Now, I want to go touch on this whole thing about spyware. So everything has spyware, Gabriel. Your cell phone has spyware. If you're using a cell phone, you're being spied on. They look at you, what you do, how you do it, where you do it. We know where you went. I remember watching the uh, in the beginning of COVID-19, and everybody rushed down to Palm, to Palm Beach for spring break. And then we watched videos of showing everyone on their individual phones all, and when I say who's they, the, the companies that, de that develop these software are listening to everything you, I mean, listen to everything you do. Every company you, you, you subscribe to is listening to you. They're, they're using spyware, even though they won't call it spyware, it's, it's tracking. So spyware is basically tracking. So you say, just like people go, oh, I don't want to get a COVID shot because they're going to put a, uh, um, they're going to put a, a tracking device in me. Bro, your cell phone is a tracking device. Bro. If I wanted to follow you, all I got to do is find out your phone. I can know exactly where you were, how you've been, and how long you've been there. Your car has a tracking device. It's called GPS. If you have a GPS in your car, then we can pretty much find you. How do I know that? Because if I'm in my car and I get in a crash, I get a phone call from Lexus and goes, hey, you were just in a crash. We're, you're at the corner of X, Y, Z. Do you want me to send fire trucks? If I don't respond within a few seconds, they automatically spend, send the fire trucks to my location. How do they know? Because my vehicle has spyware. Call it what you want, it's tracking. So you can say all day long, I'm not gonna use TikTok because they use spyware. But Gabriel, what do you actually do that you were about being spied on? I mean, honestly, you made videos that says that we made bloopers, but that doesn't make it, you know, I mean, unless you're out there doing something as espionage, you're being spied on every single day. And here's one more thing before I get off my soapbox about people in spyware, because it bugs me all the time, is that oh, the only way for your phone, your phone is a listening device. Mm -hmm. Even if you turn your phone off, it is a listening device. The CIA, the FBI, and I have friends that are in the CIA. So this isn't like some stuff I made up. I have actual friends, and she can vouch for it, that have servers in their house, hundreds of servers, so they can track people doing certain things that they want to track. And they're all around the country. And 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 I don't, you know, and these guys are, you know, they have doctors, um, names, and what have you. Their whole purpose is to follow you if they want to. If you come up on their radar, which not everybody pops up on the radar to be followed by the FBI or the CIA or NSA, but certain words you use can trigger that information to be sent that data to a server. And then all of a sudden they follow you. All of a sudden they're following you. So if you if you say something negative um, or anti, I won't say anti-government because everybody talks anti-government, but if you say certain words, they can track you. It's almost as if like you say a certain word and all of a sudden the switch goes on. It's Okay, here's a good example. Simple, laid down, laid back without it being a whole, you know, military spyware crappy crap. You ever notice that when you have your phone and you're having a conversation about, I love coffee. You know, my favorite coffee in the world is Nespresso. And then all of a sudden, you're on your phone and you get an ad for Nespresso. Now, you're going, wait, well, that's just coincidence. No. Nope. We had a conversation one day about something that was totally innocuous. Totally something we would never discuss. You remember that conversation? It I was don't a, know. I feel like we've had a lot of those. And then all of a sudden, uh, what appears on our phone is a is an ad for something that we would have never discussed. And that happened to us recently when we were looking at the mattresses. So, yeah, so when people, yes, we looked at mattresses. Yeah. All of a sudden ads come up. And the crazy part is we didn't tweet about mattresses. Nope. We didn't Facebook. We didn't buy one. We didn't post about mattresses. Nope. We didn't even get on the phone and go, which has a better mattress? We didn't search. We were in a store and we asked about a mattress. Yeah. We simply asked with our phones in our pockets. Yeah, we didn't buy the mattress. All of a sudden, mattresses start appearing. Very scary. So, and see, Maverick's having espresso right now, and I knew that. You're watching me. I'm having yummy. But, I will be having some in the morning. When it's morning for me, it'll be nighttime for you. But we love to be like, oh, my God, they're spying on me. Bruh, bruh. Stores track you in the store via Wi-Fi even yes. when you don't connect to the store's Wi-Fi. I did not know that. The, I, I knew that. The make Okay, so your cell phone service provider tracks you. Your phone maker tracks you. The make 
the make of the phone's operating system tracks you and your phone apps track you. I knew that. I didn't realize, okay, well then that would make more sense then. And here's where it gets really interesting. So basically I just need to think that everyone's tracking me at any point in my life and I'm always on camera. Pretty much. Here's where it gets interesting. That's scary. So here's where it gets real interesting for the whole thing about the tracking thing. Target does that? Everybody does it. Oh. You're a Target once you walk in that door. I was at Target. Yes. Yesterday. Yes, and you'll see ads pop up pretty soon about, you know, there's a, oh, oh, she almost lost my thought now. About, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. now I'm like my, my, my brain went blank. You know, it's like, this is bananas. That my brain just went totally blank. But, okay. but what I want to say is that the only way you cannot have your phone monitored is to take out the battery. But guess what? The phone companies make it so you cannot take out the batteries. Wait, no. The only way to not have your phone track is if you get a flip phone. No, they can be they tracked. They can track your flip phone too? As long as you have a, as long as you send a signal, you can be tracked. The only way to not oh. be tracked is to take your battery out. Oh my God. And, um, and, and it's, this, the operating systems are made to track you. So, so everybody's on this whole boat. Oh my God, I'm not gonna use TikTok because they're using spyware. Everybody uses spyware. So basically these things are right. like, if I wanted to find you, if you, I if, you, if, you if, I need to... if you committed a crime and I knew your cell phone number, the police can track your phone. You pinged a tower. You pinged a tower. There are towers every mile. And every time your phone it pings a tower and you triangulate. When you make a phone call to 911 and you block your phone call um, uh, and you block your phone, <laughs> it still triangulates where you are. I've been inside of like uh, police dispatch and I see the little triangles on the screen. And as the triangles all form, the center point is where you are. So they can find you within like almost 10 feet. And satellite, satellites can look at the date on a dime from this, outer space. This reminds me of the movie movie Enemy of the State. Do you remember that movie? It's, you know, that city, yeah, that city, I mean, that city, that movie's pretty accurate. Yeah, that's really scary. Well, I mean, that movie was also like 1998. Uh, yeah, and before, imagine it, before the these. And the technology has been much better since then. Yeah.